What's going on my fellow rock and rollers? Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to be notified every time I put out a new video on my channel. Smashing Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan has had a long list of feuds with different musicians and bands over the years, but perhaps one of the stranger feuds he had was with the band Soundgarden. Find out the full story in today's video. Billy Corgan gave an interview in August of 2012 with Phil Starr just before playing a show in the Philippines where he singled out the band Soundgarden, who he labeled as a nostalgia act, for making money off playing their old tunes. And Soundgarden would reunite in 2010 after a 13 year break. Corgan would say, there are the bands that are essentially coming back only to make money, playing their old albums, and maybe somewhere in the back of their minds, they're thinking that there might be a future. I'm not in that business, obviously. I condemn anybody who's in that business but doesn't admit he's in that business. When Soundgarden came back and they just played their old songs, great. I was a fan of Soundgarden, but call it for what it is. They're just out to have one more round at the till, he'd say. The same month, Corgan appeared on a radio station and seemed to indicate that it was Soundgarden frontman Chris Cornell who started the feud when the frontman told an interviewer in 2007 that he didn't consider the Smashing Pumpkins reunion at that point in time, as he put it, to be legitimate. In 2007, Corgan had reunited with original drummer Jimmy Chamberlain, but not the rest of the original band, leading many in the press and in their fan base to criticize the band for not reuniting with other members Darcy Retsky and James Eha. Corgan would claim in that interview, I have kind of an elephant's memory when it comes to somebody punching me in the face. Cornell's one of those people who's extremely talented. I was a fan from literally their second EP, met him in 1991, and still believe in what was great about the band. But when we're sitting there having conversations about who is doing what, I'm no longer going to shield somebody. I want all of my generation to raise the bar and I don't appreciate when somebody from my generation, who I once considered a friend, decides to piss on my little spot in the corner for whatever reason at the same time he's making the Timbaland album. You know what I mean, Corgan would say? And Cornell would retaliate a few months later in November of 2012, telling ABC Radio that when Billy Corgan was completely broke, I got him a movie deal with Cameron Crowe where he made $40,000. He was very happy about that, and he was specifically happy about the $40,000. So next time you see him, tell him he owes me my $40,000 back, he'd say. And while Cornell wouldn't state what Cameron Crowe movie he was referring to, it's probably safe to assume he was referring to the 1992 film Singles, which included the Smashing Pumpkins tune Drown. Cornell, for his part, also had two songs on the soundtrack. Even Soundgarden guitarist Kim Tile would also clap back at Corgan twice in the same interview saying, There's a lot of other bands. Alice in Chains came back a few years before us, Smashing Pumpkins. I guess that's not really Smashing Pumpkins, it's just a Billy Corgan solo project with a bunch of new guys, right? It's not possible for us to do a bad record. Here's how it's possible to do a bad record. You've got one jackass who runs the whole thing and a bunch of guys they hire around him. Now you can make a bad record because your stupid ideas aren't being bounced around, going to the effing ether, he'd say. And following Cornell's tragic death in 2017, Corgan seemed to express some regret over the pair's falling out, telling an interviewer from the San Francisco Weekly, I wish I had more answers and I'd done more. I knew Chris and we had a bit of a falling out and were never able to patch that up. I wish I hadn't contributed in even the most minuscule way to his unhappiness. I wish I'd been a force for encouragement because he influenced me and I looked up to him. And in 2019, the feud between Soundgarden's surviving members and Cornell's widow Vicky escalated over unpaid royalties leading to a lawsuit. Corgan would share his two cents on the feud, telling a fan on Instagram, Vicky is my friend and all I can say is I support her. It's not a matter of choosing sides as much as saying she and her family have been through a lot and that needs to be considered, especially for the children, he'd say. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. If you guys have suggestions for future topics, let me know in the comment section below. Take care.